What if your clutter pile is overwhelmingly huge? Where on earth do you begin? How do you get started? How do you get started when you struggle with hoarding disorder? Well, this video is all about decluttering tips to get started to tackling those messes. So this video is all about five emotional decluttering tips, hoarder edition that works for everyone. If you are new to our YouTube family, thank you so much for stopping by and checking us out. My name is Miss Hart and I share my hoarding disorder with everyone. I tell you my mental struggles, I show you my messes, and we clean up this hoarded house in small sections at a time. My intention is to humanize hoarding disorder and that way everyone can understand the true mentality behind all of this stuff. And now this video is also extra special because it is my first collab video with my dear friend, Erica Lucas. She has her own YouTube channel where it laid on her heart that she did not want to live in a cluttered home anymore. She did not want to have all the stuff in her house. So she decluttered thousands of items in her home and started to transition into more of a minimalist lifestyle. And she is such an inspiration to so many of us. And that's why in our hearts, we wanted to create these decluttering tips so that we could help everyone along their journey too. Okay, so let's dive in right into those decluttering tips. Now, tip number one that has always worked for me, and I even did it subconsciously without even realizing it, was that I visualized myself decluttering this space before I get started, before I record a video. I play the reel in my head of me going to the space, picking up the stuff, deciding I do like this, this I can tossy tossy, I can let it go. And I feel the emotions of me going through the stuff and being successful in it. This has helped me immensely because during that process, I'm also telling myself positive affirmations. I can do this. I am strong enough to do this. The strength is already within me. So by visualizing myself already doing it, calmed my anxiety within myself. That way I'd be more successful in letting go of items, less likely to trip a panic attack within my heart and help me get started in having a successful decluttering session because I don't feel overwhelmed anymore. And that is key because with my hoarding disorder, it was the feeling overwhelmed that it was so much stuff I can't do this, I'm scared, I'm not strong enough, and all of these negative emotions that I was visualizing. So by changing that story, by changing that thought process into making it successful, into myself enjoying it, into myself being like, I can do this, that's how I was able to start decluttering my hoarded house. Now that you got that story running through your mind, the reel is playing out and you see yourself decluttering that space. And it's gonna be the space that you always wanted. We move on to now step number two, which is start with the easiest task to complete. When you look at a space, you're like, oh girl, I can let that go. That's easy. Let's start with that, right? 
it's kind of like a video game, right? This is my analogy. It's like a video game. My boys play them all the time, right? When they play a video game, the first level is easy. They always make it easy. You can make the jumps. You can do this. You complete the task so quickly because it creates an emotion of achievement. I can do this and it feels good within your heart because that starts the momentum to go to the next level. So when I look at a space, that's exactly what I do is what is the easiest thing I can start with. Now, I'm going to go back to someone who is starting with hoarding disorder from the very beginning, like I did. The first step that I took when I said, I'm going to dig myself out of this hoarded house was that I went to was the smallest room in the house. And I only started with, if I remember correctly, just the top of the sink. That's all I could do because that's what I had visualized and I didn't even realize it at the time. All right, so now we completed that easy task. We're feeling good. We're feeling accomplished. But now it's time to move to the next level, which could be a little harder because now we're in decluttering mode. And that brings us to tip number three. And for tip number three, it is that when I make the decisions to let things go, I make it emotionally and not logically. I know I don't need 25 pairs of shoes. I know that I have two feet. I also know that I don't need a hundred sweaters. I get it. I don't need it. But hoarding disorder is rooted in heart issues. So I have to make these decisions emotionally, which is why I liked Marie Kondo when she asks, does it spark joy? Now, we grab this real quick. <laughs> these pair of leggings, right? So when I pick these up, I'm going to feel something. Now with Marie Kondo, she's going to say, does it bring you joy? Do you feel happiness? Do you feel good? With hoarding disorder, we feel like that with a majority of our stuff. So when I pick something up and I actually feel, oh, hey, this, I don't feel any emotion to it. I don't feel any connection to it. I can let this go. I'm going to start picking and looking for items that I don't feel emotionally attached to. And it's a gut decision, okay? I honestly, with my OCD, I'm not gonna know until I touch it. Once it's in my hands and I'm feeling it, I can tell right away, hey, wow, I don't, I don't feel anything. I'm going to let this go. But if I pick it up and the story in my head starts playing, I remember when I wore these, I love how I feel. I'm going to keep them. It's okay to keep them for now because when we keep doing our decluttering tips, what I found out is that over time, you're going to be less attached to things. Just wanted to explain that in tip number three, you make the decision emotionally. That way you have no regret of letting go of the item because if the hoarder feels regret of letting it go, they weren't ready, I need it back, there's that anxiety, there's that depression, there's all those emotions that's going to want me to hold on to more things, make me wanna go out and grab more things to replace that because I need to feel secure again. Okay, so now we made our decisions. We have our tossy, tossy pile. We feel good with what we let go of, even if it's just one thing. I do not want you to feel guilty of just letting go of one thing. Again, I will cheer you on. I will praise you if you let go of one or a hundred things 
because it is what felt right within your heart. And now this brings us into tip number four, and that is I want you to have an accountability partner that is cheering you on. From just recording this, I think I had finally made the connection of why I can let go of so much more stuff now than when I first started. Because each and every video, when I showed my tossy tossy pile, you guys, <laughs> you guys just showered me with encouragement, support, love, and it meant everything to me. <laughs> It did because you knew how hard it was for me to do that. And you knew what an accomplishment it was. And to feel that love, to feel that just, to feel your loving support gave me the strength to know that I could do it. And to know that by letting these items go was the right thing to do and it made me feel a connection with all of you because I felt like we were reaching our goals together because we are so when we're decluttering within our YouTube family I love 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 seeing each other give wonderful supportive encouraging messages. This little community that we made in Hoarder's Heart, this is our little, I don't want to say it's just our support group. It is our support group, but I feel like it's so much more because of the deeper connections. And you all are the sweetest, loving, kindest people in the world. Okay, so we have our tossy tossy pile now, right? We showed our friends. Our friends are really proud of us. Now we're going to move into tip number five, which right now I'm working on because we have our tossy tossy pile. We got to take an action on it right away. I just recently had put the video in the living room where I have the tossy tossy pile. I made the decision to let it go, but I did not take the action steps to physically get it out of the house. <laughs> and again, addressing with hoarding disorder, the thing that holds me back into disposing of it right away, because I could take it to the curb within five minutes, is that in my heart, I don't want it sitting in a landfill when it could bless somebody else, when somebody's looking for it. And I also don't want to create more trash in the landfill that then hurts our earth, right? So that's always what kind of like makes me keep it in a holding ground. And what I need is quicker action plans. And that is number five, is your action plan for when you have your tossy tossy pile. And what I have so far is that yes, I have recycling. I am blessed to have recycle come every week to pick it up. So all those papers, all those plastics, boom, they can go right away into the recyclables. All those plastic bags right around the corner is ShopRite and they recycle the plastic bags. I also have my Facebook's giving page where we post stuff for free to help each other out. And I've actually let go of a lot of stuff on that. And at this moment, I kind of feel like that's the most therapeutic for me because I always have somebody saying, yes, I was looking for that, thank you. And that makes my heart happy because I was like, yes, instead of a landfill sitting there rotting away, someone was looking for it and can use it for their family. And that completes tip number five, is that have your action plan ready when you made the decision to let the items go. So there you have it. There was my five decluttering tips, quarter edition, emotional decluttering. And I really pray that these tips 
help you along your decluttering journey too. And a special thanks to Erica Lucas. I loved creating this collab video with you. We are all one big YouTube family as we reach our goals, as we keep each other encouraged, as we declutter our homes to create the spaces that we envision them to be. And I cannot wait to hear everyone else's decluttering story because we are in this together. In my hands and I'm feeling of the emotions of I love this, they make me feel good. I have JLo's butt in these leggings. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I feel like JLo in my leggings. <laughs>